What is up everybody, it is Clutch, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be showing you guys how to use the AK-47 in Critical Ops. The AK is one of the most versatile weapons in the game, and when used properly, it can be one of the fastest time to kill weapons out there. So with that being said, we're going to be checking out all the gun stats, and this will include recoil patterns, crouched and uncrouched, rate of fire, reload speed, starting ammo, damage outputs, shots to kill, and how and when to use. We will also be looking at certain playstyles so you can choose what kind of player you want to be with the AK. Plus, I will also be showing you how you can dominate no matter your skill level or style. And of course, I have some practice drills that can increase your accuracy with the AK and recoil control. So make sure to drop a like on this video if you want to see more helpful content like this. And definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. So without further ado, let's jump on in. First, we will be checking out the AK recoil patterns uncrouched. The first couple rounds of the AK shoots straight up, then it swings off to the right, back to the left, and then back to the right again. Crouching does increase the tightness of the spread, so I highly recommend when you go for those long shots that you do crouch. On paper, it doesn't look like crouching does very much for the AK. However, when you're actually firing the weapon and using it in combat, it feels so much better to crouch and just overall much easier to control. I highly recommend that you use the AK in short, controlled bursts. The rate of fire for the AK is about 606 rounds per minute, very fast fire rate. The starting ammo is 120 rounds with 30 preloaded into the magazine. And the reload speed takes exactly 3 seconds. The damage output for the AK-47 is 115 for the headshot, 41 for the upper body shot, 47 for the lower body shot, and 36 for the arms and legs. The fast fire rate and high damage output of the AK-47 makes it one of the best assault rifles and all around weapons in the game. The shots to kill with the AK is one shot to the head, three shots to the upper body, three shots to the lower body, and the only difference here is when Kevlar is on it takes four shots to the arms and legs, and three shots with Kevlar off. You definitely do not want to buy this gun on anti-eco rounds, like, just trust me on this, do not buy this on anti-eco rounds. Next we will be looking at three playstyles with the AK-47. Then you're going to choose which type of player you are, and I'm going to give you three tips on how to master that playstyle. Starting off with the camper, the number one tip is recoil control. You're going to be dealing with some long range angles, so I highly recommend that you get your recoil control down, and I have some drills I'm going to be showing you after this. Number two is reaction speed. Make sure your reaction is quick and you don't fall asleep on this angle. A good way to practice your reaction speed is simply play TDM and just sweat, bro. Number three is one taps. If you're dealing with some super long angles, one taps can be extremely beneficial for your camping style and not to mention it demoralizes the other player. The next play style is the aggro. The keys for the aggro are recoil control, flicks, and pro movement. Your movement is very important as an aggressive player, putting yourself in a good position to get those frags and take cover if needed. And I also highly recommend that you're mentally prepared to die as the aggro simply because they are put under the most pressure and most of the time they're going against 1v2s, 1v3s, or even 1v5s. The next playstyle is the supporter. The supporter is some pretty big shoes to fill as they are basically a combination of both players plus a little bit more IQ. So the number one key for the supporter is game sense. A great way to improve your game sense is just play the game a lot and play against competitive players. Number two is be unpredictable. Not only are you trying to predict what the opposite team is trying to do, but you're also trying to deceive the opposing team. Think the game a little deeper. You can get a good feel for the opposing players and how they play after the first like three rounds. So definitely take note of what they do, how they play, and what they favor. Number three would be great all around aim. Like I said before, this player is a combination of both playstyles, so having a great aim is key to the supporter. Big shoes to fill, you're definitely going to want to devote a lot of time to this playstyle. Now for the drills I promised earlier. You're going to go to CT spawn on Bureau, and you're going to go to this little sign right here. I don't even know what it is, but you're going to go to this weird sign thing. 
and as you can see there's a middle line in between the sign so what you're gonna do is walk up to the sign really close and you're just gonna blast it the whole 30 round mag you're trying to keep it in the circle this can be very difficult as you uh, extend your range so once you master one range, you're going to go take a step back, you're going to keep going back, and eventually you're going to hit the wall. And once you hit the wall, you're at a very decent range, and if you can hit all the shots in the circle when you're at the wall, your recoil control is really good because this gun swings quite a bit. And yeah, overall a great drill to practice and a great drill to warm up with. Next, to practice your flicks, we are going to be on Bureau, and as you can see, there's a bunch of portraits on this wall right here. What we're going to do is flick back and forth between each portrait. There are eight portraits, so what we're going to do is shoot the first one on the far left, then we're going to go to the second one, then we're going to go back to the first, then to the third, then to the first, then to the fourth, then to the first, then to the fifth, and so on and so forth. You're also going to switch sides and do this on the other side, Obviously, you want to go faster than how I was demonstrating right here. Another way to do this drill is stand in the middle of the portraits like so. And you're simply going to go back and forth between the two. So you can pick any number you want and just go out of order or you could just freestyle this. I like to go one, then two, then one, maybe to three, maybe one to six, maybe one to seven, maybe one to eight. Make it unpredictable, push yourself on this drill and it's going to pay off. Trust me. The AK is one of the main weapons on T side, so I highly recommend that you practice with the AK quite a bit, simply because it is a flagship of the game. So I think the way you should do this is use the warm-ups and drills I showed you before, then you want to jump into one TDM, practice your just all around fragging out, then the next TDM you want to try one tapping only, next TDM burst fires only, and then next TDM just spray the AK as much as you can. Spray and pray, dude. Then you want to jump into some diffuse, test out your skills a little bit, see how it feels then, you should be noticing better aim already. And finally jump into that ranked game and get that W. If you did enjoy the video, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And if you guys want to check out more of my videos, I have made a playlist. And you can find that on my channel, simply just click on my icon. Scroll down on the homepage and you will find it there. I've made a ton of tips and tricks and helpful content related to CEOPS, but that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.